Yeah, my big off-season winner, if it's not Duke, it's the team that they're going to be playing November 14th in Chicago at the United Center in the Champions Classic. It's Tom Izzo and the Michigan State Spartans. Izzo, with backcourt experience, with a team that tasted some NCAA tournament success and was right there, was right there and got beat by Kansas State in an epic game, that's the fuel that they need all offseason. That's why these guys are saying, I'm coming back. I think we can win it all. Tyson Walker. Tyson Walker changed Michigan State for the better this past season. He is a cold-blooded shot maker, playmaker, killer. That kid makes winning plays. You have A.J. Hogarth back. You have Jaden Akins, who I thought, I thought Akins late in the season really stepped up for Michigan State. Mm -hmm. So you've got... You've got the whole backcourt intact. The issue for Michigan State all season long was eh, what what are they going to get from their front court? I mean, Mati Sissoko tried to hang in. The fact is, it was a struggle bus at times. But enter in the nation's eighth ranked freshman, Xavier Booker. And you can just tell Tom Izzo cannot wait to have him in the equation. Enter in. Eighth according to who? Eighth according to who? Because I've seen him first. I've seen him second. Well, he's he's eighth according to 24-7 sports composite okay. ranking, which is a compilation of every ranking You're right, right. that they put together. Okay. okay. If he's not eighth, there you go, T.O. You've got him even higher than that. Yeah. So that answers the question, right? Uh, Xavier Booker's going to come in and, and impact that program in a big way. Michigan State can win it all. Can win it mm-hmm. all. And I think – that is a really great storyline for college hoops heading into this year because, Rob, you said it, brands, names, faces. The fact is, Tom Izzo's not getting any younger. And don't you feel like for his career, for his journey, all the final fours, like he could hang it up now and go down as one of the greats ever. But what would a second national championship 24, uh, almost a quarter century after he won the last one. Oh, by the way, won the last one in the Big Ten. What would that do? What would that mean? It would mean a ton. Michigan State is not only really talented, fellas, they are compelling. Mm -hmm. They're a compelling team, and they can end. They can end the Big Ten title drought. And not only that, what I did learn, we talked about our other other experiences at the Final Four. Don't you dare doubt Tom Ezzo. Don't you dare doubt nope. Tom Ezzo. Not at all. Now, I like the pieces. I, I also like guys, you know, people talk about Xavier Booker, the guy they need to be talking about. You, you know, it's going to take him a year. Jeremy Fears, yes. the Fears point guard kid, like he's that's a tough sucker. Well, and I, is, I, that's another perfect example of guys coming back and five stars that maybe have to to uh, stick around Mr. Fears don't go anywhere stay there stay at Michigan State it's going to be the best possible scenario for you You, if you're going to play your freshman year but there's going to be times where you're going to get frustrated just stick around stick that one out you're you're going to be fun you know what I love about the way that next year is shaping up look Hmm. at the brands that we have that are sitting at the top of the sport right I I don't know if Duke is going to be the consensus number one or not, but I think based off of everyone that close. I've talked to at Field of 68, like they've, they're the preseason number one team, it feels yep. like. Michigan State, another massive brand, has a chance to be a preseason top two team. Uh, Purdue, assuming they get Zach Eady back, which I think that they're my gut says that he's probably coming back, especially after the way the last season ended. And if they can add one more like good quality point guard from the portal, uh, you're looking at a team that's bringing back the preseason national player of the year and like every important piece. Um, you look at uh, a program like Arkansas, who is just adding everybody out of the portal, right? That's another big, super online fan base, which is really good for the field of 68. I'm not going to lie. Um, Kansas, there's no doubt in my mind that they're going to be great again, uh, especially if like, just imagine, imagine, put this thought in your head, guys, Hunter, Hunter Dickinson. Dickinson. At the five there. I have no look, Hunter's playing that very close to the vest. I have no inside info on that. All I have is what I can imagine and what I'm hoping will happen because if he ends up there, uh, he might average 23 and 12 in that league yes. next year. Right. So it's, it's and Izzo knows how to Izzo knows how to play with a big five in modern basketball, too. Like he's yeah. shown that with with guys that weren't 
He's Bill won Self. a national championship Bill with a five man that wasn't near as good as Hunter Dickinson. Bill Self. You said what, what, Bill Self. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. Bill Self. You know what I mean. Yeah, Bill yeah, Self. I knew what you meant. I just wanted to, just wanted yeah. to put that out there. So I, I'm i already fired up for next year, fellas. I'm I am already too. ready to go. I'm juiced. I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. Juices are flowing. You're right. And it's, and it's almost as if all the talk about is this collection of Final Four teams an aberration or – a one-off or all that. Let me tell you, we don't know what n- next year holds, but these blue blood brands are making damn sure that they do everything in their power to show that it was just a one-off. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. Well, listen, guys, we've been here for about an hour. Uh, it was great to catch up with you again. It was great to talk college hoops on the DTF podcast again. Uh, I don't know what our schedule is going to be for this for the off season. Uh, there will be some. There are going to be weeks where it's uh, we're not we're not jumping in here, but uh, I always love chatting with you guys about hoops. So for Terrence Oglesby, for the legend John Fanta, my name is Rob Doster. We'll see you guys again at some point during the spring. Fanta's juices are flowing. Yes, they are. <laughs>